Ravi Naidu describes himself as a hybrid entrepreneur who combines science and business to promote creativity and design. Considering that he's the founder of Design in Daba, this sounds like an accurate enough description, but it also is on the side of modesty. It's true that Ravi is a globetrotter, so when Mela was able to catch him in Cape Town, Michelle jumped at the opportunity to meet him. No matter whether you're using the word as a verb or a noun, design has multiple meanings and connotations. Combine this with Indaba and you immediately add discussion, debate and exchange of ideas to the mix. And when Ravi Naidu launched his annual design Indaba, he staked Cape Town's claim to be a world-leading incubator of creativity. If you were to ask the iconic Steve Jobs to describe design, he'd tell you that it's not just about the way it looks and feels, but more importantly, how it works. Somebody who understands the value of this is entrepreneur Ravi Naidu, who has literally made it his business to showcase the very best of Africa's creative talent. Ravi has an affinity for new ideas and innovation, but when it comes to having his head shaved, he appreciates a barber who honors the old school combination of a straight edge with a steady hand. Hello, hi. Breeze, Michelle. I hope it's not too early for you. I'm really excited to be here now. Ravi, what do you have planned for us today? I'm going to show you some of the projects we've hatched, and I'm going to introduce you to some interesting personalities, notwithstanding Abdul here, uh, the best barber in Cape Town. Well, I look forward to the day unfolding, but I don't want to keep Abdul up because I'm not taking responsibility for any cuts. <laughs> I think it will be very prudent to not distract Abdul. Here we go. <laughs> Since its inception in 1995 as a two-day conference, the design in Daba has grown into an internationally respected brand with an online publication in addition to a variety of events and projects. Let me show you uh, what we do here. What a great space. It's a gorgeous space uh, with a nice little mural of inner city of Cape Town. What motivated you to become an entrepreneur? I'm an accidental entrepreneur. I was in the throes of doing a business degree at UCT and did reasonably okay at it. And of course, South Africa was going through this amazing transition at the time because I was on the course between 93 and 94. And lots of untransformed companies phoned me and offered me jobs. And I wasn't quite sure as to whether I wanted to be their affirmative action appointee. So I decided almost as an act of resistance to create my own company. Ravi, with a background in science and physiology, how has that helped you appreciate and understand design? Design's a great integrative discipline. It brings so many things together. It brings sociology, politics, economics, the environment. So I think it adds an extra string to your bow. It also brings some kind of intellectual rigor. What sparked the idea for design in Daba? This was a part of the assertiveness and the confidence that we had at the dawn of democracy, that perhaps the prime real estate is here between your ears and the ultimate alchemy is one of converting ideas into reality. And we wanted to make sure that only the best shall do for Africa. We don't dial it down for Africa, we crank it up for Africa. I almost feel bad to ask you this question, but can you name a few of your favorite projects? There's been a raft of projects, but uh, the favorite one is the one that we're working on at the moment. Allow me to show it to you. Come join me. I'd love to see. It's typical of the design in Daba approach that instead of having a think tank, it has a do tank, which doesn't merely come up with creative ideas, but implements them as well. Its most recent project involves a monument with a difference. Conceptualized by Ravi and his team together with a local design firm and a Norwegian architectural practice. It's an unconventional structure and its apparent simplicity belies the depth of its symbolism. We're standing at the entrance to Cape Town's Company Gardens alongside the most magnificent structure that commemorates Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Ravi, what inspired the structure? A few years ago, the mayor of Cape Town, Patricia Delil, she approached us and she said, listen, we need to do something to celebrate the life of Archbishop Tutu. And she suggested that we help fund a mural on the side of Civic Center. We said to her, don't ask a designer to design you a bridge. Ask a designer to get you across the river. And we said, ma'am, we'll get you across the river. We'll come up with an idea to best celebrate the life of Archbishop Tutu. We wanted to design an arch for arch. And we thought the poignant thing about this location is that it straddles two books, the Bible, which is Archbishop Tutu's primary document, sitting there at St. George's Cathedral, and the Constitution, 
which is what rules the parliament. It's made up of 14 strands of wood because there's 14 chapters in the constitution, there's 14 lines in the preamble. So we wanted to carry through this message and the significance of 14. And a replica of this has since gone up at the Constitutional Court. And it's just become the most phenomenal project. And on the 7th of October, on Archbishop's 86th birthday, we dedicated this. Ravi, thank you for sharing that. It's such a beautiful way to celebrate one of our icons. Come and join my staff and myself as we have lunch today up in Kloof Street. I'd love to. Thank join you. Us. The design in Dalba Byline is a better world through creativity, which aligns with Ravi's own thinking. This is a, join me. Beautiful place, thank you. Yeah, it's our neighborhood spot. Ravi, in what way do you believe design can act as a catalyst for change in Africa? Design has moved away from the typical realm of decor and interiors and has started to enter the corporate boardroom. So design is really starting to come of age. It's starting to become something that governments are taking seriously and realizing that almost everything we touch, everything around us has been designed. What inspires you most about living in South Africa? Whatever you do here has a particular sense of purpose and that permeates to almost every single project. Whether it's a soccer bird, whether it's a rally across Africa, whether it's a space trip, whether it's design in Darwin. None of these things are just frivolous undertakings, it's about turnover, it's about scale. So much about it is about impact and about purpose. And it's just wonderful to be able to add to the toolkit for South Africa and for Africa and really making it way more relevant to community and to society. Having achieved so much, is retirement part of the plan? Where to next in the next five to 10 years? No, no, I'm never gonna retire. I'm just getting warmed up. I'm probably at the fittest I've ever been. And, and I'm really looking forward to having more manifestations of this design in Derby energy. As designers, we can do so much more. And sometimes it's not just about GDP, gross domestic product. It could also be about GDH, gross domestic happiness. We can do something here that could put a smile on people's faces. And that in itself is, is so, so super important. All I can say is really thank you so much. I feel like this has been a mini MBA in design. It's been gorgeous hosting you, Michelle. Thank you so much. Having made his mark, Ravi is not that comfortable with calling himself successful. With the world at his feet, he fundamentally believes that his best years are yet to come.